improve your photography quickly is to practice daily. Now, don't worry, I'm not saying that you need to spend hours taking photos every day. No, completely the opposite. I'm just asking you to take one photo a day. You're probably already taking an average of one photo a day. And yes, a quick snap of your shopping list or something that you need for the house. That counts. So now you're probably wondering why are you even watching this? Well, a quick snap is great in some instances, but you're not going to learn much from it. If you just put a little bit more thought into the images that you are taking, then you're going to see an improvement in the quality of your photos in no time. The way that I do this is with three daily tasks. So let's get into what they are. So the first one is to plan a photo. This is a very quick task to add to your morning routine. You can do it whilst you're in the shower or brushing your teeth. All you have to do is think about the day ahead and what you can photograph in that day. Experimenting with different subjects each day will improve your skills much faster and you will get a greater understanding of how light works. Some subjects you can try include food. Maybe you're making or you're buying a pretty lunch today. Take a picture of it before you dig in. Jewellery. Shiny metal and sparkling gems are pretty, but they're not very easy to photograph. Can you work out how to do it? Household items. Kitchen utensils and soft furnishings are perfect and a lot of fun to play around with. Flowers. Are you going for a walk today? Look out for these little beauties on the side of the path. Experiment with different types of flowers to see how they make unique images. Once you know what you're going to photograph, then you need to decide on when you are going to take the picture. It's very important that you make this decision early in the day and put it in your schedule so that you don't forget to take your photo. Okay, so it's got to that time of the day and you're ready to take your photo. Now, don't just pull out your phone and start shooting. I want you to stop and think about this. Ask yourself the following questions. Where is the light coming from? Try to always shoot with your back to the main light source. This will get the best possible light on your subject. What would be the best angle to shoot from? Don't always just shoot from head height. Try holding the phone in a few different positions and see what works best. How can I make this picture tell a story? You want every single one of your pictures to be telling a simple and easily understood story. Only once you have worked out the answers to these questions can you actually go and take a photo. Okay, so you've taken the photo, but you're not quite done just yet. Just one more thing, I promise. Have a look at your photo and ask yourself these questions. Do you like it? Is it a good photo? What would you change next time? What is the brightest part of the image? Is there anything hidden in the shadows? What is the sharpest part of the image? Are the colours realistic? Do you look at the subject or something else first? And does the image tell a story? By asking yourself these questions, you can work out what part of photography you need to work on. Then, the next day when you go to take a photo, you're going to be consciously focusing more on that area of photography. So, there you go. Three very easy tasks for you to do daily to improve your photos. But remember, you have to do this every day to actually see results. I'm currently running a 30 day 30 photos challenge inside my Facebook group where I share a prompt every single day for you to take a photo. 
and it's not too late to come and join. So the link is in the description to join my Facebook group and get involved in this 30 day 30 photo challenge. I look forward to seeing you in there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.